Hi right, guys, I'm Sergeant Alpha, and we're back for another episode of American Truck Sim. Uh, this is going to be a real short trip from Los Angeles to uh, San Diego. And uh, we're hauling 39,500 pounds of food. And we're just going to be using the uh, Camworth again today. And uh, now that I'm back, I hope you guys are liking uh, the LSPDFR and uh, 911 operator. It's a new uh, series I'm starting. I haven't got started with uh, Rainbow Six Siege yet, like I talked about. I've got some guys I play with pretty regularly, but um, I haven't got into the actual recording phase of it yet. Uh, we have uh, another new game that I uploaded a tech demo of, and that was Emerge NYC. And if you didn't see that, what that is, is a tech demo of a game that's in development. It's going to be a single-player and multiplayer emergency responder game where you take on the role of uh, police fire or EMS and you can do so without the use of mods it's gonna be the whole focus of the game itself and uh, they have a new map that they're working on right now so the map that uh, is in that video you've seen will not be the uh, map that stays that way the whole time they're updating it as they get a chance to update Steam and since they've been working on that new map they haven't been able to upload it in a couple weeks and they're also working on getting their fire academy out and I believe they said that their fire academy will also be a multiplayer so you can play with their players as well and kind of figure out what all you're all gonna be doing uh, we have uh, I thought of different stuff coming out in that regard. We have a uh, police 1013 that's in development, and it's going to be a police uh, simulation game, kind of like Emerging MIC, only its main focus will be police. And later on, after it comes out for PC first, it'll go into consoles. And then once it's out on both, they're going to have DLC for uh, Fire and EMS for that as well. That's another game I'm looking into. Uh, coming up at the end of this month, I believe the new Mass Effect is coming out. Mass Effect Andromeda. I kind of have mixed feelings for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it and play it or not. Just because of how Bioware down there by it with the end of Mass Effect 3 and that trilogy. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of curious about it. I've seen trailers and stuff, it's just I don't want to go get back into Mass Effect really hardcore and then they do something like that all over again to me. I have Battlefield 1, I may do some uh, episodes with that. I'm not sure yet. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. And I may do a episode or two of that just to kind of see if it's something you guys like. And I have some other mods I'm going to be installing with uh, GTA 5 and trying those out as well. So it's not just going to be completely LSPDFR all the time. I will try to throw in some mod showcases as well. And uh, I still have a, some stuff going on. I'm not having as busy of a schedule as I was having. So hopefully I will be able to uh, record a little bit more for you guys. And as you can see by the number of uh, episodes for my different series I've been releasing the last couple of days. The internet provider I have 
has much better internet than AT&T, which is another reason I'm glad that I got rid of AT&T. Because before it was taking me maybe a day or two to upload a video, and now it's taking me maybe two, two and a half hours tops. So I just have to record, go through the editing process, and I can usually get an episode out in about four hours, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how much editing I have to do or uh, if I'm having problems with my internet connection. That truck there almost ran into that trailer. One of the closest stops I've seen. Uh, we will be getting on the interstate here shortly. And we're just now getting ready to leave LA, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we still have 94 miles to go. So we need to get over here, so we're going to try to see if traffic here will let us over. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and merge on over. And we'll be making a right right here at, uh, not here, the next intersection, I believe. And there's the truck we're driving today. I'm down back there, dude. Alright, we'll get back on the road here. <laughs> and as you can see, I've turned up the uh, chance of rain in the game. So there will be a few more episodes with rain instead of it just being sunny all the time. Like my previous episodes, just so it's a little something different. Uh, another thing is that New Mexico was just announced for American Truck Sim. So, we've all been curious about what the next state is. Well, there you have it. So, it looks like we are starting to move eastward. I kind of thought that they would stay uh, in the west and kind of work up the map of the United States instead of across first, but looks like we are going to start moving east. And uh, once that happens, we will have chances for a lot longer deliveries and have a chance uh, to see more cities. And with the resale, it will take a lot longer to go between destinations if you have a trip from, say, California to New Mexico. Which is why I'm doing a shorter trip right now, because this will still be a uh, decently long episode, or it should be at least. Uh, some deliveries I've done have taken up to an hour, maybe a little bit more, with the current reef skill and the states that we have right now. It's just a matter of trying to pick out the right length delivery for the episode, and there's another cop back there, I'm not sure where exactly he's at though, I believe he's stuck in traffic. I thought about getting a shifter and steering wheel for ATS, but I just don't play ATS enough anymore to uh, spend the money on that, so right now I am still using keyboard and mouse, which is why I kind of move around a lot. And later on, if I end up playing more or something like that, I may look into it again. It just depends. And previously, I had said that I would think about doing some multiplayer for American Truck Sim. But I just haven't had anybody that plays a lot with to uh, do any episodes with just because there's not any traffic on the roads in the multiplayer and 
There's not really much sense in doing a multiplayer uh, by myself with no traffic on the road because that's one of the main parts of ATS, kind of dealing with the idiot driver AI. And without that, you would just have maybe a chance of running into another truck every now and then. So that'd be even more boring than it is for some of you guys here. But if I do have some people to play with, I will try to get a multiplayer episode out for you guys. Just so you can see what it's all about. But in the meantime, I will stick to single player. Uh, later on with GTA 5, I've been talking to a formal pickle. He was talking about maybe doing some uh, LSPDFR style patrols with multi 5. And I just gotta get with him and see if we can work out the details on that. and. How we're going to work that out and what all we're going to do with that. So that may be something that comes up with that. And uh, also I've been leaning towards trying to get into uh, the DOJ with uh, Bugs, Polecat and those guys. Doing some role play with that clan if I get in. But they usually have a lot of requests and they're not... Uh, they don't have room. That was the last time I had checked before. Uh, uh, lost internet. They were saying that they were full and they didn't have any open slots at the time. So I may or may not be able to do that either. We are moving into San Diego now, I believe. Now we're almost to our destination, we're right up here about a mile away. And I still got the uh, mod installed for the police having their lights and sirens on. I'm about to take that out though, just because it is kind of annoying. Man, it was okay for a little bit of diversity for a while but after a while it just got annoying with all the lights and sirens on all the time so we're gonna make this turn here slow it down just a little bit here okay I almost hit that car there uh, he was pulled a little far forward for me to make that turn. Wish he had stopped a little further back. Looks like we are about a block away now. We're just gonna try to get through this light here for changes. And we should be making our next left. this delivery point at uh, 42 print I believe and we have a rail out here so I'm going to go ahead and stop for that and now we're just waiting on this to light to change It's going to be a 42 print. We're just going to go ahead and make our turn into there. And you kind of have to take a wider turn for this trailer here. So we're just going to ease our way in here. I believe the trailer is trying to get caught there. Force it over. There we go. 
And for this episode, since I haven't done American Truck Sam in a while, I'm just going to do a straight in parking. And it's going to have us come over here to the left. Nope. Yep. That's not good. Thought I was further over. You definitely don't want to do that in real life. Somebody will probably frown upon that. And back over to the right now. Almost hit the truck with on the uh, dock there. We should be pretty much lined up, and we are. Not sure why the beacon lights aren't working correctly. Oh, there we go, we're just going to go ahead and make our delivery. And there you have it. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to have time for, for for this episode. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. And if there's any type of mod or truck or something like that that you'd like to see for American Truck Sim, let me know. I'll try to get it and do a delivery with that truck. And I'm also thinking about doing uh, some episodes with a car or truck, something like that. Where I'm not just an 18 wheeler. So a couple mod showcases with those. And that way it's something a little bit different. And we're not having to do a delivery every time I stop and talk to you guys. But I'll see you guys next time.